and we're processing that. It's ready to record. Let's go back to the uh, adrenal hormones. So again, uh, epinephrine and norepinephrine increase heart rate, blood pressure, release of uh, glycogen to provide glucose for energy and gets the body ready to respond to danger. These other ones, mineral cortis, corti corticoids is mainly aldosterone, which in thick affects sodium reabsorption and water in the kidneys and glucocorticoids are involved in uh, regulation of uh, amino acids and lipids and affects uh, glycogen, which is converted into glucose when glucose is needed for muscle activity or energy any place. So let's keep going. The pineal gland uh, synthesizes melatonin, which uh, helps regulate the daily wake-sleep cycle. Also inhibits reproductive function and protects neural tissue from free radicals. So where is the pineal gland? Oop. Pineal gland, let's go back to, well, the pineal gland is, let's go back to the first part here. Okay, pineal gland, do they list it here? Uh, the pineal is located in the brain. It's involved in 24-hour 24 24 hour cycle regulation. Okay, let's go back to where we were. Okay, here's where we were. Know the function and location where these hormones are produced and what their effects are and what their target organs are. The pineal gland uh, secretes melatonin. You can go to a vitamin shop and buy melatonin. If you uh, are, say, flying overseas and you want to help increase melatonin to establish your daily wake-sleep cycles. The pancreas, the endocrine pancreas, is found just below the stomach and in the first part next to the first part of the duodenum, which then it has ducts which dump um, digestive enzymes into the intestine. So this is the endocrine pancreas. Uh, so the endocrine pancreas produces insulin primarily and the digestive pancreas releases digestive enzymes into the duodenum of the intestines. Pancreas is very important. You may know that pancreatic cancer is incredibly difficult to treat and usually if somebody gets it, such as Steve Jobs, uh, one does not do very well. The endocrine pancreas is where insulin are produced in the islets of Langerhans that's why insulin and some other hormones are produced. In the exocrine cells is where digestive enzymes are produced along with bicarbonate to help buffer the acid that comes from the stomach because digestion in the intestines has to use a basic pH. Okay, so this tells us the same process. So how negative feedback works. So if they're rising blood levels of glucose, more insulin is going to be released. Uh, more insulin is going to be, I mean, more glucose is pumped into the uh, cells and that's going to get blood glucose up to the proper level. Okay. So once this insulin is secreted, all of these things happen. So these are negative feedback mechanisms. So if uh, declining blood levels of glucose, uh, you're gonna have increased breakdown of glycogen. 
and that'll release more glucose because glycogen is a polymer of glucose. Uh, fatty acids are converted into uh, eventually into blood glucose and additional release and production of glucose. So all of these hormones, um, the body can recognize either an increased level of glucose or a declining level. And if you're healthy and you don't have diabetes, type 2 diabetes, primarily you're going to have uh, regulation of blood levels of uh, glucose between 70 and 100 milligrams per deciliter. Uh, we all eat too much sugar. Uh, be very careful. I suggest a plant-based diet, which I continuously try to do myself. Okay, so let's... Uh, the intestine secretes hormones to control digestion. And the kidneys uh, secrete these other hormones. And also make note of their release from the kidneys and what they do. So calcitrol stimulates calcium and phosphate to be absorbed in the intestines when you have low levels of calcium in the blood. Erythropoietin causes blood vessels to be produced in uh, bone marrow and renin uh, helps produce angiotensin 2 angiotensin 2 and then it leads to production of aldosterone which increases sodium absorption and water retention uh, the heart also produces atrial natriuretic peptide which lowers blood pressure in volume the thymine thymus secretes uh, thymocins which help control the whole immune process of antibodies and uh, def defending our body from viruses such as COVID and uh, polio and so on. Adipose tissue uh, has these hormones that uh, help uh, control appetite and uh, resistin which reduces the insulin response. Okay, the testes produces testosterone uh, mostly, and that leads to male secondary sex characteristics. The ovary, upon stimulation in both of these, uh, have a hormone that comes from the anterior pituitary, uh, which leads to estrogen and progesterone production in the testes, the follicle stimulating hormone. Uh, causes the release of testosterone. During pregnancy, the placenta releases uh, hormones that help maintain pregnancy. Okay, so when you are in a situation of danger, the sympathetic nerves will come from the spinal cord and stimulate the uh, adrenal medulla to produce these hormones and that leads to more glucose, um, efficient blood flow to the muscles, increase in heart rate and breathing rates and help cells use more energy. Okay. So hormones work over the long term. When a person goes into puberty, growth hormone will, uh, over time, uh, allow changes in lipids and amino acids to uh, cause growth there, conserve glucose. And so all of these happen over time. And Growth hormone acts over a much longer time than uh, glucagon, for instance, and uh, the glucocorticoid. So an angiotensin is going to help control blood pressure. Okay. So that's it for this. Let's go back to 
here and so we have the test the tests are up now the lab test and the lecture test they're due on the 18th and that's so t3 the, the third test in lab assessment so please keep doing your web assigns i will be sending out a form to make sure i have everybody's phone number and the best time to call and the best time and the best portion of a day so uh that takes care of the endocrine system we'll have another lecture on tuesday and we'll be wrapping things up so any questions um, please send me an email or a, a message from ask the teacher and web assign i gave people points i took care of all of that there's no more new emails uh, so we should be ready to go okay so question the web assigned system did you know, let's chat where's chat okay okay where's the chat okay the web assign system is what you should do is just type web assign dot net and let me try it right now because i had trouble getting it but i got it to come up let's see so uh, let's go to uh, let's get rid of let's close web assign close the blackboard we don't need that anymore so let's go to if you use webassign.net, let's see what happens to WebAssign. There you go. So just use webassign.net if you have another link. So it's 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 up. And there was a problem with something. So, but uh, here we have WebAssign available right now. So use webassign.net as your URL, Universal Resource Locator. So that uh, should take care of that. If you have continuing problems, call WebAssign. You're the customer. And uh, I'm dependent upon them, but I got it to open up now. OK, so here we are. Let's stop recording. OK, we got it. Did I turn off recording already? Nope, I didn't. Okay, let's go here. Stop recording. Stop recording. Stop recording.